Hey everybody and welcome to episode 189 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Adam and today we are going to be looking at the Smart Trim module. Um, this module I stumbled across by reading a Media Current blog, so it's supported by them. Um, we know it's quality then. Um, also, it's got some good use on it, but we're going to get into a little bit more details here in a second about the Smart Trim module and why you would want to use it. Um, but before that, a little housekeeping needs to take place. Again, head on over to CodeKarate.com if you're not already there. Make sure to check out all the free stuff we're giving away. Uh, also check out our recent posts. And stay tuned. We got some cool stuff coming up here in the beginning of the year. So make sure to stay in touch with us. All right, let's look at the Smart Trim module. So basically what this module allows you to do is allows you to have a little bit more control over truncating or shortening up long uh, texts. Um, it says right here it works with text fields, which would be um, text long or text with summary uh, field sets on your content type. And I'm going to show you what that means here in a second. Um, but a really simple module. It's not going to take too long to go through. But one of the modules that now that I know about it, I think I'm going to use as well. So I think you would find a benefit in using this. So real quick, we're using um, the Drupal 7 version 1.4. So make sure if you are looking at this later on, you are using you're using a different version. There might be some changes, but for this uh, video, we're using 1.4. All right. So once we get that module installed, I head on over here to our test site. And make sure we get that module enabled. Scroll down here. You'll see right there, Smart Trim. I already have it turned on. So after that, what you need to do is you can go and to your content type that you want to use this on. So I'm going to go over to content types. I'm going to go to my basic page one. And I'm going to look at my manage display. And so right here you see I have a body field, which is um, going to work for us. So what we need to do is under the format here, we see a bunch of different options. And now that we've turned on the smart trim module, we can select smart trim there. And then it comes in with some default here. But if we had to click this cog to the right, we can change a bunch of different settings. So the first one we can say is how many, what, what the trim length is. So we have it right now set to 300, and we can set that either to be characters or words. So if we change it to words, you know, we could say 20 words. Um, the suffix, so that's basically once it truncates, what should appear after it. So we have three ellipses right now. Just for fun, we're going to change that to dollar signs. Not that you would necessarily would use that, but just so we can see this working. Um, you can say if you want to display a more link, yes or no. So if we say yes, then we can specify what the, we want that text to say. So we could say, you know, you have more to read. Um, and then if we want, another thing we can do is we can say if there is a summary, use that instead of truncating. Or we say if summary is present, still honor these trim settings above. Or we can say don't use this summary. I'm going to show you that in a second. For right now, we're going to set that to not use our summary. And then you can also strip out the HTML if you'd like um, with the um, display. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep the HTML set. So I'm going to go ahead and click Update and save this. So now I'm just going to create a piece of content here. I'm going to call it Trim Test. I'm going to grab some lower mipsum here. Paste that in. So obviously I have way more than 20 words here. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So now you can see here I'm on the node for this content type. And you can see here are my settings. It says, you know, some lower maps and text. Here's my ellipses, which were dollar signs. And then you have to read more. If you can see here down the footer, it says node slash six, which is the same path. Well, that isn't really relevant here, obviously, since I'm already on the node. So this would, in theory, just refresh the page. So that's not too helpful. So what I will see using this module for is if I go back to my structure, content type, and I'm actually going to turn off the smart trim on the content type and set that back to my default. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a view that I've already made, but I'll show you here. So if you just go to structure views, and then I look at this content teasers view, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm just making a view to display all of content. You know, you're probably familiar with um, using views to display different content types. So I'm not going to get it too into much, 
too into that. But you can see here, I'm simply saying just by filter by the basic page content type and display the title and body. So you can see here below, I have it displayed. So if I come in here and look at this body, I'll see that I have the options for formatter. So if I set this to back to the default and then change it back to smart trimmed, I see here I have different settings that I can set for the view, which is the same as what I was doing on the content type. So again, I'm going to set this to 20 words. Switch this to dollar signs again. Change this to that. Again, I don't want the summary to display. But as you can see here, this is exactly the same um, settings that were within the content type. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these changes. Save my view. And then I'm actually going to go to this page here. And here we go. So now this is again a view. So there's my title, my body, and then here are all the settings that I just set. So you have to read more. So when I look at that, you'll see that I have a node slash six when I click on the, you have to read more. And then I loads to the full display of my node, which is a lot more helpful than just having, you know, 20 characters on this page, which doesn't really do anything. Obviously, you know, with views, you can make it go by clicking on the title and stuff like that. But this is a really easy, easy way to not have to configure it in the view. If you're a little bit more advanced with Drupal, you know you can do a lot of these things within the view itself. But this is a nice, easy way to get a trimmed um, body or trimmed field to display. So really, that's everything with the module. Um, this is that's just one use case that I think I will use it for. Um, there's a lot of other use cases you could use this for. Um, you could, real quickly, if you wanted, you could set this to display differently within a teaser. So if you go to Manage Displays, your teasers, you could here set the Smart Trim right there. And then that would display when you display your teaser of your um, content type. So really, it all just depends on what you're using your content type for um, and how you want to manipulate it on your Drupal site. All right, guys. Well, that is the Smart Trim module, again, by Media Current. Uh, make sure to check it out. Leave in the comments below about how you might use this module or how you have used this module. Um, appreciate any feedback you can give there. Um, also, again, make sure to head on over to Code Karate. Check out everything that's going on. Make sure to sign up for our newsletter if you haven't already. Um, we send out a weekly email as well as post about twice a week. So make sure to stay in touch with us. I think that's it. All right, guys, until next time, have a good one. Peace.